In this video, we're going to try to do something about this rear bumper. We found some uh, rusty bits underneath of it. It's a little dented up. Nothing that's too too ugly, but uh, this thing's supposed to be a mud truck, and it's not really well set up in the rear to be snatched on with a snatch strap or you know towing something or whatever. So we're going to try to take this bumper off, probably take the hitch receiver off, and go to something different. We've got what is what is this four or five inch diameter? Four. Four inch diameter steel pipe. You know, it's like six foot four, end to end, something like that. It's it's pretty long, and uh, we currently have one of these kind of like tow hook things. We'll make another one that looks just like it. So we're talking about maybe welding this to the pipe and using the pipe as a new bumper. So I'm not sure how much uh, <clears throat> how detailed this instructions is going to be because we're not exactly sure how it's going to get mounted, but. This will probably be a little more organic flowing through it as uh, we figure out what we're going to do. But first thing, let's get this bumper and this hitch off. This is the license plate mount. I drilled and tapped the holes to hold it on. Update today. Kevin's been slaving away on his rear bumper for the Chevy mud truck. He got the end of this, had a hole tapped into it, got that drilled, or I mean uh, welded up. He made himself a little bumper bracket that he previously showed. All welded up, bolted to the truck. He finished capping off this end earlier today. Quarter wall all the way through. Might still weld up that nick, but that's fine. And the next thing we built was a template out of some corrugated cardboard. The blankets are kind of in the way, but when you get it centered up on here, he has room that he could fill in and weld down there. Got room to mount a full-size winch on it. We already checked. There should be clearance kind of in this area to get the upper bolt holes mounted, but we're probably going to get this, these two pieces. One's the upper, one's the lower. Get those uh, cut off camera, unless we can get some footage of it. And then we'll be laying it on here and extending this portion as long as possible based on the material we can acquire. Weld it across there, weld it to the frame plates, we're going to call those frame extensions. And uh, yeah, because you got a lot of material in here and it's thick material. So, weld it all the way across and we'll have a place to put a winch. It'll probably interfere with the tailgate, but he's not too worried about it. Like we said, this is supposed to be a mud truck, so it'll probably just take the tailgate off. Um, I think for now, since it's getting pretty rainy out here, we, uh, we're going to go ahead and get some paint on this thing so it's a little more weather resistant in the meantime. You can always sand it off and weld it later. Here you can see the comparison between the template and the real steel piece. We used quarter inch off of a big sheet that we had, 
cut it all to match the template. Looks pretty darn close. This one, we did the outer holes for a large size winch. We figure it's going to be like a 12, 13,000 on this thing. Got the holes drilled for the winch mount and the two holes for the fair lead. So it looks real nice. It's time to get this stuff all tacked in place where it needs to go. All right, here is the winch plate on the rear bumper. We're fixing to throw some tacks down. The plasma cut out a couple holes there and there that are gonna get plug welded to the top of the bracket that goes into the frame. Um, we've got it all cleaned up. We've got it centered. For the bolt holes, we should just be able to get bolt hole, uh, bolts up from the bottom to mount the winch. Um, it looks really good, actually. And th the tailgate's going to be gone for this. This is like a mud truck only variation where it's going to have a winch, maybe some lights, snatch points, and some more stuff that we got to weld on still. But the tail uh, tailgate's going to have to go because you can't have a winch there. Uh, not a big deal though. So, anyhow, we got it where we like it. The only issue we're having is uh, the plate has a little bow in it, so we'll probably throw a tack down this end and then take a C clamp and pull it down and tack it. Post welding update. Bunch of long beads. The best of which being that one. It's so flush and nice. Great welding from Kev. So it's on there. Big diameter plug weld right into that horizontal. I don't know, it's like a C channel that goes up to the frame. Big plug weld there and there. So we're feeling like this is gonna be pretty strong and hold the winch just fine. Gonna go ahead and throw a coat of paint on it. Still more to come on this though. Every weekend we're doing a little bit more on it until it's done. We still gotta put some uh, mounts on it here and we may put some like uh, lights on it and stuff. The winch is on the way, it's in the mail. What else are we waiting on? I think that's it. Yeah, yeah we just got some, some big hooks we're gonna put on it and the winch and we got a tailgate net so that winch can fit. And we did confirm the tailgate can come off with the winch on there. Or at least with the plate on there. So, should be fine. Finished throwing a little bit of paint on it. It's looking really nice. Just waiting on possibly some backup lights for it because our reverse lights are pretty bad. I'm waiting on the winch and waiting on some, uh, some other little hook mounts we're still going to weld onto it. You'll have to forgive our lack of keeping this updated. Uh, we spent the day throwing on a new winch, got a 13,000 pound X bowl, whatever that means. Uh, it's a synthetic uh, synthetic cable, so it has one of these Haas fair leads where it's uh, rounded smooth aluminum so it doesn't tear up the uh, cable. Threw a couple LED lights in the corners, they're just to help with uh, reverse lights. 
and we've got these two pieces of steel. We're fixing to weld them to the bumper there. Big snatch points. Um, pretty simple. Um, I think I already showed in the last portion this big plate got welded on there. We did have to notch our original gusset here. It's not too bad. All of that was quarter inch. We painted it all. Looks pretty good. And we got that tailgate bed net on there because we knew we were going to have a uh, you know fitment issue with the back of the winch and the wiring so just kind of skipped right past it. I think it looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and clean up and uh, weld as usual. Everything we do is welding. Get those two uh, snatch points on the sides. Get some paint on those and I think we're going to be done with this bumper. The final layout of the rear bumper on the Chevy. This is being filmed much later than the original build on it, so paint looks a little more dingy and it's had some use, but it has proved to be a very sturdy bumper and has worked really well. We have had to winch out a few times with it. Nothing we caught on tape, but <clears throat> or recorded rather. <laughs> but anyhow, it looks uh, really good, so we're pretty happy with how it turned out, and uh, I'm sure I'll post more updates if we do any more changes to it.